Well, I think because uh, Dr. Rolf really conceived of rolfing first and foremost as an orthopedic adjunct. You know, she had a doctoral degree and she'd trained in Europe. She'd been to Switzerland. She'd studied, you know, uh, biochemistry and physics. So she was a uh, very sharp uh, intellect. But this was a time where there was a big transition happening from sort of many schools of natural therapies and the American Medical Association was gaining its power and beginning to suppress the non-scientific schools that were happening. So she was really insistent that we find ways to validate rolfing so that it wouldn't get swept aside in this uh, cultural change that was going on. She used gravity as her favorite metaphor, which was that if the system was better balanced in gravity, then it would uh, consume less energy in maintaining itself and there would be more juice free for expression. But we haven't really been able to measure this very well because the measurements uh, means weren't there. So we've been stuck in a sense with, you know, having Rolfing defined by the quality of people's experience. Now we're starting to get caught up with science and, you know, the work of Robert Schleip and uh, Stephen Porges and some of those people. But Rolf's basic idea was get a human body functioning better all the way through and the aches and pains will get managed by the natural vital force of the body.